Hey guys, it's Di from Bags for Bubbles and welcome back. Hopefully you had a wonderful holiday season and I am rejuvenated, excited, and ready for 2016 and I'm ready to talk some bags. So today's video is going to be all about the Alma PM. I shared a picture on Instagram and a couple of you guys were like, yay, you didn't get rid of it and I didn't. And this bag was kind of like an Eleanor for me. So I wanted to do a video all about it and how I got it to work for me because it's really like so obvious. But I wanted to share how I got this bag to work for me. So just in case anyone else was running into the same issue, maybe you can consider this option. So first of all, I have the Black Alma by Louis Vuitton. It's in the Epi leather. It's got the silver hardware. And I debated this bag for quite some time just because I thought it would be like the perfect bag because I prefer silver hardware. So I knew that the Epi leather would be really durable. I like the idea of an all leather bag that was really durable. I use this in all weather. In fact, it's been kind of like drizzly and snowing off and on. So when I've been using this over the holidays, I actually just take my little puff off here. This is from Nordstrom. It's the halogen brand. I just toss it down inside and then it's like a really worry-free bag. But one of the things that I did do to the bag to make it kind of appeal to me more or like reach, want to reach for it more, is I did add this little puff ball. I had looked at these for a while and I decided to finally give this one a try. And it just kind of like adds a pop of fun to the bag. So this bag is like so super structured that it feels a little bit stuffy. But I feel like adding a little charm to this just kind of, I don't know, just kind of lightens it up. Makes it a little bit more playful. So that's the first thing that I did. But the second thing was really kind of major. So if you guys have been with my channel for a really long time, then you'll probably remember that I used to be very anti-crossbody handbag. Uh, when my kids were little, it was more tote styles and that sort of thing. As they've gotten older... I'm appreciating having my hands free to grab my toddler, which is a little, well, she's a preschooler now, but she's a little bonkers and I generally need two hands to run after her and grab her and pull her out of traffic and things like that. So I have started loving crossbody. In fact, I primarily, about 90% of the time now, use my bags crossbody. It's, that's just how things change, right? So I had this bag and I did buy the longer strap for it, but I had it set on pretty much the tightest setting to where I could use it on my shoulder or I had to use a handheld and I was like, no, I'm not gonna use that big cross body. It is very wide on the bottom. So you can see it is very wide. I was worried about dinging the corners and just didn't really know. You know, it, it is meant to be a handheld bag. But I was like, no, I'm not gonna wear it cross body because I just had that little bit left of a holdout that I was not gonna go cross body. And lately, I've been using pretty much primarily, this is the bag that I take to the gym and stuff like that, theme park bag, and you can see I have it set to cross body strap. Um, primarily, I just have gone cross body lately. That's, this is what has worked for me. So I did the KonMari video, and a lot of you guys were saying, oh, get rid of it, it's not sparking joy, but deep down, I was still kind of like, there's just this little holdout. I want this bag to work for me. So I gave it one last chance. We moved, we got settled in, and I pulled it out, and I did one little thing. You're gonna be like, this is a huge build up for nothing, but I lengthened the strap. So this strap that came with it is huge. It's really, really long. And it has tons of settings. In fact, I can even make it about, I think, three settings longer than I even had it set at and it makes it way comfortable into the crossbody range. So I just even link, lowered that down one. Um, I lengthened it to the one, two, three, four, fourth hole down, so right in the middle, and I started using the Alma partially crossbody, and then when I did have an opportunity to be hands-free, if I was running errands on my own and that sort of thing, then I would carry it like this, just with the strap attached. And I found I really enjoyed carrying the bag this way. Now, it is very wide. I do, you know, bump the corners against stuff and stuff like that, but this is obviously not a brand new bag. I've had this forever. Um, while I'm not going out of my way to like throw it in the floor, um, I'm not like stressing out if it like bumps into stuff, so it's no big deal. Um, so I found just by lengthening the strap, and so now I can wear this bag. It does, it is the style that has the little hooks. So now I can wear this bag crossbody. I don't know if you can see me. Crossbody, and it hits me right at my hip. And I found that it's actually very enjoyable to use. So this is what it looks like empty, and I have been using this all 
around the holiday season. I just went to the gym, so I had my things loaded up in this because I obviously didn't want to take this to the gym. But I will show you what my things look like down inside the Alma. And this is the bag that has been sparking joy for me lately. So here are all my things down inside the Rebecca Minkoff Morning After Clutch. And oh, by the way, I did get, oh, this is life with kids. You just have to roll with it. An honest sticker on my Verney. <laughs> That's life with kids. Um, so what I started to say was, uh, I am going to be doing a video on what I got for Christmas. So that'll be coming up. And I'm putting some of my favorite accessories down in there. So this is really what I have been traveling with lately. So I've got the accessories pouch that has all my makeup in it. I've got my little um, key case that I always have. I've got my keys, my cell phone. I just got this panda case from Kate Spade. I got it at Nordstrom. I love this thing. You'll see it in my Christmas video too. It was kind of like a Christmas video to myself. But it's got like the little rhinestones that are all sparkly. I love this little guy. He's so cute. That's all I'm really traveling with these days. And this little insolent coin is working out great for me. So you can see down inside the Alma there is tons of room left over. So if I have a scarf or anything like that it definitely fits down in there. But that is how I got my Alma to work for me and it was pretty simple. All I had to do was add a charm and I already had the strap but if you didn't already have it get the strap and lengthen the strap to where you could use it cross body not just on your shoulder. I finally caved and it really made this bag enjoyable to use. So this is the bag I've used all over holiday break and I you know, used it at Christmas and everything. We went to go see Star Wars. I used this bag. So this has been a fun little bag and I'm glad I gave it that last little chance because I think I would have really missed having this option with the silver hardware because I do like the silver hardware in my collection. So that is how the Alma started working for me and what's going on with me. I will have a video coming up very shortly as far as what I got for Christmas. And then we are moving on in 2016 and I'm excited to do some videos over here because one of my, not resolutions because I don't do resolutions, but just kind of goals for 2016 was to um, focus on myself more and do more stuff for myself. And you know what? Bags for Bubbles is something that I do for me. It's something I really enjoy. And I really miss this community over here because I feel like we all understand each other in a very specific way. Um, much like a lot of the other like niche communities like understand each other. But I just, you know, I miss like this camaraderie of handbag gals and handbag fashionistas. So, um, I'm looking forward to hopefully being inspired by our new location back here in Michigan and get some videos going again. So that is all for today. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.